Hey guys, welcome to day 63 of the carnivore journey. Man, I don't know if I should count the days uh, that I've been doing it or the days left now. If we should start a countdown, holy crap. Um, but yeah, guys, um, remember this is going to be a long journey. So depending on if you guys want me to continue doing daily vlogs or if you want me to just to start going week by week after the day 90, it's up to you guys. I mean, I'm sure we could find things to talk about each day. Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. If you want to hear me ramble on for 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, but just let me know if you guys want to continue these daily vlogs after the 90 days or, you know, like I said, I could maybe do like once a week or something, check in and say, Hey, week, you know, 13 or whatever it's going to be. But, um, in any case, um, so this is it guys, this is Sunday night. This is the end of of the you know clean week so um what are my thoughts well i'm gonna say this going through clean week i can tell you that before in the past like with with cheese and heavy cream and stuff like that i still felt pretty good all in all i think maybe every once in a while i'd have some like maybe my stomach would kind of um, rumble a little more sometimes um but I didn't notice any major changes in like my bowel movements. I didn't notice any major change. Now, like I said, weight, I mean, I guess you could kind of weight sort of fluctuates, right? So it's kind of hard to judge and say, well, maybe the heavy cream and the cheese was stalling my weight. I don't know. I'm going to weigh in tomorrow morning and we're going to find out. So uh, tonight for dinner. I had a ribeye steak. Um, it was just like a cheap one I found on. I didn't take a picture. Sorry. I was hungry. It was late. We were sort of running. I had to hurry up and cook it and and eat it. And in a rush to do all that, um, I totally spaced on the picture. So I apologize, guys. I could insert like a fake stock footage of a steak, but you guys know what a steak looks like. So it was just an average size steak. Probably not enough calories with my steak, butter, and I did have four pieces of bacon uh, like an hour before dinner. And that was because, again, things were kind of weird. My son had tennis, so I had to like take him to tennis, drop him off, and then uh, he had like a doubles match. And then like so and, – and I wasn't – I didn't stay there and watch because it's one of those like, you know, it's not – not something that you really kind of stick around and watch. It was just more of like an exhibition match with some some uh, other like adults and stuff. So I watched. I dropped him off there, came home, played some games and stuff. But I had like four pieces of bacon just to kind of tide me over until dinner, and then I uh, went and picked him up, and then picked up uh, my son and wife up some uh, fast food. I came home and I just grilled up my steak and like I said, I was kind of in a hurry because. I was trying to get down here. I've, I've got to do some other things after this. It's Sunday night. So I've got to go back to both my jobs tomorrow. Um, so I'm just in a mad scramble trying to get a bunch of other things done at the end of the night. Things that I've been kind of putting off all weekend. <laughs> like just little odds and ends. I'm trying to finish up some laundry. Uh, stuff like that. You know, like because my wife and I try to tackle laundry on the weekends. You know, obviously. And so she'll, she'll do some loads. I'll fold and put it away you know we try to share some of those uh, responsibilities and um but uh but in any case you know like i said there's just a lot of other odds and ends i'm trying to get to little other mini projects and things so guys thank you all for the compliments for my haircut i i do appreciate that i had a a few of them so appreciate it i actually cut my own hair <laughs> i went to the garage uh yesterday morning and just i woke up and I took my my bag that had my you know extensions and my um, trimmer and stuff like that and went and cut my hair. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, it's been um, it's been a good clean week. I will say that this uh, tomorrow, am I going to go back to cheese and heavy cream? Yes, I, I think in life, I think it's okay. I think it's okay to have a little bit of dirtiness in your carnivore. Um, because I still think you're, no matter what, you're still traveling down the carnivore highway. 
you know, no matter what, whether you take the express lane or whether you take the slow lane, um, you're still going down the carnivore highway. And I don't mind, you know, putting in some cheese and some things. I mean, you want to live a little bit of life. You know, after the 90 days, I'm probably going to have my moments where I'll I'll skirt some the the edges and I'll have some keto days. You know, I feel like for me, if I'm going to if I'm going to have any kind of keto based stuff, it would be things like salsa or um, like the, the keto zero carb pizza, you know, where the only thing that's everything's carnivore. It's like a carnivore pizza, but you actually have a clean sauce that's like low in carbs. Um, like, cause the tomatoes, tomatoes don't have a lot of carbs. They do have almost some sugars and stuff, but again, you got to be able to live a little bit of life sometimes. So if you can find things that make you happy, but at the same time, still be within that, that highway that you're on, then by all means, you should do that. But these are the things I'll, I'll probably do. I just don't want to, I don't want to make exceptions and say, Oh, I'm going to have a cheat day. I'm going to start having a cheat day where I have like uh, cupcakes or something with sugar in that sense. I really do want to stay away from sugar. I want to stay away from a lot of artificial sh uh, sweeteners and things like that. Um, so even if I do skirt around with keto, I'm going to try to keep it. If, if it is just low carb type stuff, which I know carbs are a form of sugar, blah, 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 like a complex form of sugar. You know. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? So if, if, like I said, if anything, I may just have like, like I said, some tomato sauce, maybe some salsa, uh, because, you know, uh, I've been thinking about, you know, one thing, like when I made that salsa for my family, I was thinking to myself, I wonder how it would be if I made some salsa and had just like some, some pork rinds and, and dip like plain pork rinds in the salsa. Like, how would that taste? Would that be the equivalent of some chips and dip? I mean, you don't have to eat a lot of them, but just as a little treat or a little extra snack, you know, if you have a Mexican night or something and, and you want to have your, your carnivore tacos or whatever, I did see some, uh, zero carb tortilla shells, but they were like, they, they, they were packed with like you know, horrible chemicals, I think. So I'm not going to touch those. I'm saying like, you know, when I made those carnivore tacos or something like that, um, but maybe like a nut like that. And then you have like a small little handful of uh, carnivore uh, or um, pork rinds with, you know, some salsa. Um, the salsa that I make uh, is very, again, low carb. It's just really tomatoes. It's very clean, just some seasonings and stuff. Um, and I even substitute the olive oil, uh, cause you can put a little bit of olive oil in there when you don't have to even put any olive oil if you want, but, uh, I substitute and put a little bit of uh, butter in there and blend it up. Uh, I do that for uh, my family and they don't, they don't notice. They think it's really good. Uh, I used to put olive oil in there. Um, but anyways, so just, just some, some thoughts. I'm just rambling on some, some future thoughts that I've been really debating about where I want to go with things. Um, so again, I just don't want to get in the road where I'm going to really let myself say, well, I'm going to keep making exceptions every night. I'm going to do my best to stick to like a B, B, B and E. I'm going to try coffee again tomorrow and I'm going to see what that does to me. If Coffee causes me to, I, I think, well, I think it'll be more noticeable. Let's just put it like that. I think it's going to be more noticeable now that I've been clean for a week. I know I've had some comments about people saying, well, you know, if, you know, you knew about caffeine, you'd never want to touch it again and all this other stuff. Look, I get it, guys. I do. But we all got to have some kind of vice sometimes. And I quit smoking. I quit drinking. I, I quit sugar. I quit. You know, I mean, I quit a lot of my life. And when you look at the top, really almost like, like uh, top 10 experts in the carnivore arena and, and really good doctors, like ha it's half and half. Actually, it's like half are kind of like pro coffee. 
The other half are sort of like, meh, you know, stay away from it if you can. So it is kind of half and half. I, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. Um, there's been a lot of coffee drinkers over the years that's lived well into, you know, to be 100 years old. They drink coffee, uh, but they also have was eating a bunch of bacon and eggs and, you know, very close to a farmer's or almost a carnivore style. A lot of farmers ate, eat, they used to eat a lot of, um, you know, just homemade, home cooking, not a lot of processed stuff. And that's why farmers a lot of times had some pretty good longevity, usually. Now you get some of the modern farmers or some of the other farmers that obviously when their wives started making them a lot of pies and sweets and you know things like that. But I digress like usual. Uh, let's see. Other than that, um, another day of feeling good. I think that's another takeaway from the week of carnivore is just, uh, it's just it, when you eat clean, you just feel clean. You feel solid. There's no ups and downs. There's no, you don't have a lot of surprises each day. Your stomach feels quiet, right? It doesn't rumble a whole lot. There's not a lot of things coming internally. We, um, again, that's the best way I can describe it. It's, it's just a solid performance from your body, and you just feel normal. So as I introduce coffee, we'll see. As I reintroduce uh you know, maybe some hot sauce back or something, you know, because I, I, won't, I would I don't mind having hot sauce. It didn't seem to affect me that much. So I wouldn't mind having some hot sauce again from time to time. I'm not going to have it every day. Um, but of course, while I'm doing the daily vlogs, I'm going to let you guys know what I eat. Uh, so um, I'm trying to think if I had any snacks last night. I don't think I did. I don't think I had any late night snacks and I'm really trying to think because I, I, I want to be honest with you guys completely. I don't think I'm trying to think if I had any bacon. Did I have some bacon last night? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. But in any case, uh, guys, we're getting close. Well, we got like 27 days left pretty much or whatever. So we're we're getting down to the wire. Um, and, and again, it's not as if it's like, Hey, we're done with carnivore. It's just, I'm just trying to make it to that 90 day mark and say, Hey, I led a carnivore lifestyle for 90 days. And you know, this is what happened. This is how we felt, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, we'll set us a new benchmark. So, um, I want to say again to all of you guys, like I, I've been telling you guys a lot in my videos, again, I really, really appreciate the support. You guys are amazing. You leave me such good comments, such good support. I really can't ask for a better group of, of people. Um, and again, I got some of you that are regular. Some of you pop in every once in a while and just remind me that you're still there. Um, but no matter what, I know a lot of you are still regularly watching. It's just sometimes some of you comment more than others. But no matter what, I feel the love. I feel the support. And it, it's that type of, of community that keeps me going. So I'm really proud of you guys. Seriously. So, And we will see you tomorrow for day 64, guys. Hang in there. Keep it up. And stay strong.